Somebody left a comment the other day uh, asking me to talk just a little bit about the injection system in this, the fuel injection system. Uh, and I, I did talk about that, I think, on one of my other videos, but I don't remember what kind of detail I went into. So I guess I can uh, make a, a dedicated video here and just kind of talk a little bit about what I, what I have going on back here. Um, this is an MTDI build, okay? So, which means it, you know, MTDI stands for mechanical TDI, okay? This is a mechanical injection pump as opposed to an electronically controlled injection pump, which is what TDIs came with from the factory, okay? This is uh, a pump built by Carl Mullendore uh, of Westy Ventures in Bend, Oregon, okay? And the injector nozzles that I have are Basio 520 DLCs, okay? And the injectors were calibrated by Diesel Fuel Injection Services in Portland, Oregon. Uh, I believe the guy's name was Mark. Really, really uh, nice guy and a helpful guy. You know, highly recommend going to talk to that guy with any of your diesel stuff. Um, this uh, motor could have gone uh, electronic, okay? I had a donor Jetta, you know, so I had uh, a full harness and all the sensors and, you know, the computer and the electronic pump. And I could have made this an electronically controlled motor, like it came from the factory. But I I just, I, I was going back and forth when I was researching this. And, you know, there's, you know, I was debating this with a lot of people. And, you know, there's a lot of debate out there, you know, ETDI versus MTDI. Okay, and there's, you know, there's pros and cons. You know, the ETDI is, you know, a very clean burn, you know, a really clean running engine. You know, that's what those sensors are doing. They're, they're working with the computer and you know, optimizing the, you know, the fuel delivery and the timing on this. So you get a, a fantastically clean burn, you know, very efficient. Um, and it's very tunable, you know, it's easily tunable. You just put a chip in it, you know, and, you know, you can get, you know, more power and, and you know, different power curves and this and that with a, with a chip. So that's, that's a good way to go, I guess. Uh, but with the MTDI, what kept drawing me back is the simplicity uh, it was just, just, just tremendous that you, to me, you could run your whole motor off of this, off a of throttle cable, okay? And, you know, for me, this is, you know, the, as, as I've said in other videos, this is a factory diesel, okay? This is an 83 factory diesel, and the 1.6 that came in this was mechanically controlled as well with a pump that's, you know, almost identical to this, very similar to this, okay? All the hookups this, are the same, and uh, for me, this, you know, MTDI, uh, was a bolt-in install, okay? So there was that too, you know? So we had the simplicity and the fact that it was just a bolt-in install. You know, I got three wires here. I mean, it's just tremendous. I got one, two, three, you know, and a wire going in here and, and very, very simple. So I kept going back to that. Uh, and, you know, the wiring the ETDI in, you know, just it just would have been a pain in the ass to wire all that in there, you know? So I went, I ended up going uh, MTDI for that reason. And it's, uh, you, it's not quite as clean as a, as an electronic TDI, as an ETDI. Uh, you can get it to puff a little black smoke if you really get on it, if you really try. You know, and if you t turn the fuel up uh, really high. I have this turned up fairly high, the fuel delivery on this, so I can get it to smoke if I want it to. Uh, but I, I just, you know, I don't. I can control that. Um, but, yeah, MTDI, I mean, it's just, it's just been a, a great way to go. I mean, I've had this, you know, for uh, a little while now, and it's just been, been tremendous. I, the mileage is outstanding. I get uh, almost 35 miles per gallon on the highway, and, you know, the worst I get, I never get under 30, no matter what I do, it doesn't seem like. So efficiency is tremendous. Um, really a great way to go. Um, another reason I went with this, uh, I guess, is... Well, I mean, it's, I guess it's kind of the same reason, but, uh, it, you know, because of all the sensors and this and that. I didn't want the electronic, all the sensors, but the reason I didn't want all that is because, you know, it's Volkswagen, okay? And this is, I guess, where we can cue all the, the hating, you know, the hate mail and the hate comments, you know, from all your Volkswagen lovers out there. But, you know, in my experience, Volkswagen does certain things well. It does, you know, the motors are, or does motors well, does transmissions, the mechanical stuff it does well. Electronics... Uh, Volkswagen just never can get it figured out. Okay, sorry, but that's been my experience. Uh, I, I always say stay away from Volkswagen electronics. So, you know, it's just not, been nothing but trouble for me. So when it comes, you know, given the choice of having a whole bunch of electronics back here, a whole bunch of sensors and a computer and, a, you know, all this stuff, or having nothing, having no electronics, just having this, you know, I went with this. So that's, uh, that's, that's my answer on that. 
Uh, but yeah, MTDIs has been a, just a, a great way to go so far. And you know, a lot of people will say the same thing. Uh, just, it just, just, it works really well. Uh, bad news, uh, Carl Mullendore, the guy who built this pump, uh, bad news for everybody. He says that this is, this pump that I got was the last pump that he had. Okay. And then he's not, not doing pumps anymore. Um, so that's just real bad news, you know, and, and I don't know what he does to these. I don't know how much work that is. Maybe it just ended up being a pain in the ass, but he, uh, I don't know what he does. So I can't, I can't comment on, you know, what he does internally, but he optimizes, you know, the fuel delivery and does this and that, the fuel curve. I don't know. And he, he optimizes these for, you know, to run these, uh, TDI motors, but, um, so, but he's apparently not doing that anymore. So I, I, I really hope that's not true. I really hope he gets more pumps and he, he keeps doing that. Uh, cause he's just really a rock star in, in the Volkswagen community. Uh, just a lot, a lot of praise about that guy. Um, there is another guy, I, I, if I'm pronouncing it right, I think his name is Giles and he is uh, performance diesel in uh, Canada. Okay. That's his outfit. And he as well, he's just another rock star. He and, and, uh, Carl Mullendore are just really, really well respected. So if you go with either of those guys, if you can get Carl to do it, that's great. If not performance diesel. Uh, makes these and both of those guys are absolute rock stars. You literally cannot find one negative word about them anywhere in any of the forums anywhere. You cannot dig up any bad thing about them. So they're just really, really safe bet to go with either of those guys. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, any, any questions, I guess you guys can, you know, hit me up as always, and I'll do my best to answer. But, uh, yeah. So Carl Mullendor, MTDI pump, Bosio 520 DLC injectors calibrated by diesel fuel injection services in portland oregon and uh that's that's what i got that's my build but uh yeah mtdi is really really a great way to go